Good day, folks. Welcome to another app review. Today, we are going to be featuring FlexClip. It's an easy to use video editing software online. So before we go ahead and tackle in depth about the video editing process, I want to go and quickly hover over here to these features. One, we have cloud storage, which basically allows us to upload images and videos. And if you have custom fonts, you can also upload them here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start a video from scratch. There are two options over here. Storyboard mode is the easiest one to use. So for the purposes of this demo, let's just go ahead and pick this one right over here. It's going to take some time to process everything. But once that's loaded, we can choose over here right at the top some templates that we can use. So they have like ready-made videos for you depending on the genre or which type of video you're going to use. Um, ready-made templates are already available. So for the purposes of this video, let's just go ahead and apply this um, football template right over here. Now, first things first, any text that you see over here, you can definitely edit them. So if you just hover over at the text, double click it, you can edit it right over here. So we're just gonna put live demo. As you can see, it is reflected right over here. And if you play the video, going to showcase anything that you've edited. So right here, once again, with the live templates, um, it automates it for you, all the stock videos and stuff like that. All the transitions have already been added. Um, you can edit transitions right over here as well, depending on which type of um, transition you want to use. So let's just use this for example. See, you can change it um, in any manner that you like. And that goes with like any video clip that you're going to add. If you want to add videos um, to your clip, you can just click here, add storyboard and add anything to it right over there. Um, media, again, if you have um, images, you can just upload them right over here or videos, for example, text, you can customize the font style. So for example, right over here, um, if we decide to add another text, a line of text to it, for example, it's as easy as adding it here. And again, if you have custom fonts um, uploaded, you can change them right over here. You can add um, or change the size rather. You can make it bold, idolized, things like that. You can even edit the alignment. So if you want it to be centered, left or right alignment, justified, things like that, you can edit it over here. Um, the next thing is videos. Again, um, this has a library of stock videos that you can use um, depending on um, which type of video you want to present or compile. Same goes for photos. You got stock photos right over here. It's categorized depending on, you know, which one you want to use. So go ahead and just choose. And for example, you can even type in, so like animal, for example, you can just, you know, for easy search, you can use the search bar and type whichever photo you want. Music, you got a bunch of music right over here, also cat categorized into different genres. Um, and you can just apply it by clicking the apply button. So it's gonna take a while to process it and it's gonna integrate it to your video. You can edit the volume, um, fade in and fade out, basically, you know, if you want the music to pop in um, or if you want the music to um, end at the very end, you can just edit the fade out button and the number of seconds as well. Um, for elements, basically, if you want to add overlays to it, you know, like a like button, a call to action at the very end, it's as simple as clicking it or dragging it even, and you can add overlays. Again, if you guys have um, used the Canva application before, it's basically um, similar, but here it's more focused on videos. Um, for overlays over here, text overlays, it's the exact same thing. You can just click on something and then it's gonna integrate it into your video. For the background, so let's say you have an image, if this is more of like a presentation, um, you can just add backgrounds to it. So for example, let's add this one right here. Let's create a new screen, for example. Um, so it's editing it right over here. Again, you can drag and drop it anywhere. It's as easy as that. It's very user friendly. So any image or video that you add into your storyboard, you can just drag it along. 
and right over here. So again, let's apply the things that I've mentioned before. Let's go with basic text right over here. So just type example, right? So there you go, a list of backgrounds that you can choose from and branding. So for example, if you have custom logos, custom fonts, you can just go over here and anything that you've uploaded, you can track over here and apply it into your video. So that's basically just a basic summary and run through of FlexClip. And we have also reviewed similar online video editing tools. To discover more of them and which ones are the best, check the link in the video description below. If you want to give this tool a try, you'll find the link to their website as well as a free trial in the video description. Thanks for watching.